What's going on? Average Tech Guy here. And today we are back with more tech, more reviews. This is my first video of 2021. Hope everybody's safe out there and continuing to stay safe. But I want to get the year started off with an accessory that I just picked up for my iPad. This is the MX Anywhere 3. And today, this is what we're going to be talking about. So let's check it out. So the MX series of mice and keyboards is a great series for any type of um, user of keyboards, mice, anything. Logitech has made these really comparable to a lot of devices. They've actually put a lot of thought into these and they made them really customizable so that just about anybody can pick one of these up and use it. Very simple, very easy. So this is the MX Anywhere 3, um, little brother to the master that I have over here. And it has a lot of features. Now I know the master has a lot of features as well, but let's talk a little bit about this. Right up front, you notice it says it has mag speed, which with our iPad, the mag speed really doesn't matter. We just wanna make sure that it's functional. Um, but this is capable to be used with your Mac, your iOS devices, your Android devices, Chromebooks, Linux systems, um, Windows, you name it, it works with it. This can be connected to up to three devices and you can seamlessly switch. We'll talk about that when we actually get it unboxed. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, one of the biggest things that we actually look forward to with these devices now would be the ability to use your USB type C. And if you hear cars and stuff going by, it's because it's hot in this room and I got my window open. So please forgive me for any sounds that you hear going by. But basically, we're just going to open this thing up. Now, it comes in a few different colors. I picked up the black. And that's just an outer box. And then you get a box on the inside. And you open this thing up. And here it is. So all you get on the inside of the box is the mouse itself. You get a USB adapter right there. It's a unifying receiver and you get USB type A to USB type C cable, charging cable, and you get your normal instructions and stuff. Putting all that back in the box. Let's get that to the side. And this is what we want to look at now. Very similar to the master series, but basically it's going to tell you what you can do, what you can connect it to. And that's pretty much it. All these come with this little flap. So we're just going to Peel that off and that's going to show us the bottom. On the bottom, you have your sensor and you have your on off button. And this is your toggle button down here. That's going to allow you to switch between devices. Then you have your little rubberized feet. Now, the cool thing about this is it's going to work on just about any surface. So whether you're using a mouse pad or you're using a table, whether it be glass, a solid table like this one, it is going to work. On the sides, you have these nice silicone feeling grips. You have a backward and forward button. You got your wheel up top. You have a select button or action button up here, left and right clicks and clicks are not that loud. So big shout out to Logitech for not making the clickety clickety clicks on here, <laughs> but it sounds really good. And then you got your receiver like we talked about earlier. Let me get all these scraps out of the way and then we will talk a little bit more in depth about this mouse. Now, okay, so I got it hooked up to my iPad. This is a pretty slick little device. Now, what I like the best is the USB type C charging ability. So get this, you're gonna be able to do a quick charge of one minute. Now, one, this is what Logitech claims. I have not tested this out yet, but one minute quick charge is gonna get you three hours of battery on this device. So that's insane, number one. And a full battery is gonna last you about 70 days. That's the claim. So just keeping that in mind, 70 days on a battery, this thing is gonna last you roughly almost three months um, when you're using this device. So just keep that in mind, like two months and a, and a week or so, this is what you're gonna have when you charge this thing up fully. So you're probably gonna charge this thing up a few times a year. That's about it. And that's crazy. That's insane. But just the ability to get that uh, one minute quick charge that gives you three hours is a great feature to have. 
the sides are nice and soft and these buttons on here any button on here can actually be customized and you don't have to have the app it can be customized directly on your ipad you're just going to go into accessibility and you're going to click on that um touch control and you're going to go to mouse and then in there is where you're going to actually click on your customizable things just click something it's going to take you into another setting and tell you to pick what you want the button to do and that's basically it so each button on here is fully customizable they do work and i've tried them out and like i said i like this thing a lot it's very light very compact and very very simple Okay, so I actually have some of these buttons customized and I just wanna show you how it's gonna work. Now on my left and right over here, I have these set up to actually scroll the screen left and right. Now this is a little bit wonky from time to time, uh, but like a lot of these features still really work well. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, scroll and you see how it wants to scroll, but it doesn't. There we go. There we go. You gotta kind of press it and then let it up and there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things you're gonna have to just put up with and it may get better with time do uh, with updates and things of that nature. And then I have my click on my scrolling wheel uh, that's gonna take me back home. So that actually works well. And you can actually set up tons of different things such as setting your volume, uh, opening up your app drawer, opening up your switcher, your control panel, things of that nature, but you have to have the assistive touch turned on. So in your accessibility setting, when you go back here, your assisted touch has to be turned on. I can't stress that enough. In order for these to work, that feature has to be on. So when you're actually on the internet and you're scrolling up and down the screen, it's not that wonky like it used to be. Sometimes that does happen with the occasional up and down, it goes like way off and then pulls it back really fast. But pretty much you're gonna be able to control this the way that you want it. And your selections work really well. So navigating your websites and everything are not gonna be that hard. Uh, it's gonna take some time to get used to. But like I said, this thing is a great addition for your iPad. I love Logitech products. They actually are some of the best out there for your iPad with the exception of the official Apple products. But these these are really, really efficient um, machines. Like I said, you're gonna be able to connect three devices. Uh, you just toggle between them by pressing this button. This is gonna work with your MacBooks, your MacBook Pros, your iMacs, any iOS device. It's gonna work with Windows, it's gonna work with Android. So just set this up with a bunch of different devices and you can just toggle between them whenever you need to. Uh, a good way to be productive starting this new year in 2021. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. This is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. Uh, like I said, one of the biggest changes that they made to this is the USB type C connector. It has that fast charge on it and that's pretty much it. Super lightweight, super convenient. It's about 79 bucks. Just keep that in mind. But I think it's really good because you're going to be able to use it with a bunch of different devices. It's fully customizable. And when you're using it between your Mac and your Windows device, you can actually take advantage of the Logitech Options application, which will allow you to just basically go between the two different platforms. You can go from screen to screen, and that really comes in handy when you're working on different devices. So check out that Logitech Flow app if you pick up one of these. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'm gonna be dropping a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.